What's going on everybody? You have Tone here back with some more Draft League content. This time bringing you guys week number 5, if I remember correctly. Yeah, week 5 of Pack. Uh, this week we are taking on the Texas Tornadus coach by Jinjes. I think I pro I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize if I don't. Um, uh, as we jump right into the battle here, uh, again, no team builder. I just really didn't have time for doing like thumbnails and the, not thumbnails, the um, slides and everything. Um, so let me just write out a team real quick Blaziken, Speed Boost, Slowbro, Thunderous, T, Tapu Bulu, Ferro, Thorn, and Hip Powdon. Okay, so. Kind of what I expected. Um, Cinderace is a fine lead um, against pretty much everything. Well, if he leads Hippo, I just I'm just gonna U-turn directly into Obstagoon, I think. Um, but this is kind of more or less what I was expecting. Um, as for the team that I'm bringing, um, it's kind of like it's pretty weird. But um, I have a four attacks expert belt, Tapu Koko. Uh, it can't touch um, Thunder, it doesn't have Dazzling Gleam on it. Um, uh, standard Heavy Duty, well, not Standard Heavy Duty, um, it's Bulk Up 3 Attacks, Heavy Duty Boots, uh, Cinderace, a Fizz Def, Leftovers, Rocks, Pert, uh, Starf, Nihilego, Flame Orb, Obstagoon, and Standard um, <laughs> um, a Life Orb, or Life Orb, uh, Search of Lone Raichu. But anyway, uh, good luck, have fun to, I'm saying Ace, I guess, but um, yeah. This is pretty much where I was, more or less what I was expecting from my opponent. He has a very bulky team. High Poudon. Yeah, so I'm just gonna U-turn out here. But no need to, um... No need to do anything crazy here and stay in, try to burn it or anything. So yeah, let's just go straight for the U-turn. I'm just not doing anything crazy here. Um, I probably should have thought this through before bringing my little and Raichu. Like him bringing Bulu made the made sense. <laughs> um, and let's just go straight into Obstagoon because there's really nothing he can't really do. Like he he can earthquake or high horsepower or whatever the heck he wants to go for, but he's not killing me in one high horsepower. Okay, yeah. Okay. See leftovers. Hmm. Is there anything I'm surprised he did not bring against me? Hmm. Honestly, no. I think the only thing that I was probably fearing a little bit was the cryogonal, but not really. Um, this is kind of the six I was expecting, for the, to be perfectly honest. Um, so I'm just gonna go for the facade here. Uh, his number resist is the Ferrothorn, and I have Fire Punch for that. And this gets two a KO clean. I mean, yeah, it definitely gets two a KO. I'm adamant. I'm definitely adamant. <sighs> Easy. Oh, okay. Slack off just to get some residual. Good play, good play. Makes sense. I was never clicking taunt in that situation. I also... Ew. I kind of wish I had switcheroo, but it's fine. Totally fine. Um, so I'm just gonna facade again. Like, I still feel comfortable clicking facade only because of the fact that I don't really fear his normal resist. Like, he, he, he brought like a very, very fat team, which I was kind of expecting. And that was a crit. Oh god. <laughs> he gets up rocks. Okay. Yeah, that, that set him back a lot. <laughs> yeah, I guess he was, I mean, he, he scouted the damage and then saw that I too a KO'd regardless, so he got the rocks just to get the residual. Um, but now that he has, this is pretty much, yeah, I'm just going to knock off here. Because it, it, it cover this, sh it should kill Hippo. This should kill Hippo, and it covers him going into pretty much anything else. Although, granted, his switching to Obstagoon doesn't really exist. 
And this is kind of, this is probably the first time, well, there was last week, but last week was different. Um, so, he's going to stay in, so this should drop. Nice. Alright, his pout on is down. Um, which doesn't really free up anything, <laughs> in hindsight. It didn't free up a doggone thing. <laughs> it's just one less electric immunity, because <laughs> there's still the thunders. <laughs> Okay, um, deep fried. That's a ch uh, deep fried. Oh man, <laughs> you making? I don't want. I'm making me hungry. Um, uh, as much as I want to switch, I I can't risk him being like SD or subbing or anything. So I'm just gonna attack. He just protects. Yep. Um, I am okay with this. Sandstorm ends. I guess if I didn't want to fear, I could have just went directly into Swampert, but uh, I digress. Because if he, if he was crazy and like SD'd or whatever as I switched out, then Swampert died in close combat. Flare Blitz, this and kills him. Okay. So I'm going to lose my obstacle in here. Which sucks. That crit definitely mattered. <laughs> oh well. Uh, we don't see Life Orb on the Blaziken, um... Okay, Swampert, do me a favor. Just do me a quick favor and... scare this thing out. Like, this- Swampert is literally only here for this. That's legitimately it. Let's just Scald. It covers him going into, like, Boo or Thunder Oh, good God. Okay. Fine. Fine. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. Not even mad. <laughs> Props for the solar beam. I didn't think he'd bring Solar Beam on a Blaze game when he had a Grass Knot Thunderous and two Grass Types. And a Grass- a potential Grass Knot Slowbro. Oh my god. <laughs> in, in hindsight, Swampert was only here for this. Didn't get chipped, but uh, it's fine. Let's just, uh, Zen Headbutt this thing. I don't think I kill, but... The fact that he's not Life Orb is kind of good. At the same time, it's kind of not good. I want the recoil. High jump kick. Okay, good. I live. I, I connect Zen Headbutt. Good. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Um. Well, I definitely want to keep Cinderace, though, because... If I don't, if I don't, if I lose Cinderace, I literally lose to Ferrothorn. Cause it's the only thing I have left that can beat it. Um, as much as I don't want to do this, I'm kind of forced to. Um, I I guess I'm just going to go and I guess I can chuck out Coco as much as I don't want to. But the thing is, what I brought here, I can't beat Thunderous. <laughs> I can't be Thunderous. I could deal with Bulu with Cinderace and my Scarf and the Halego. I definitely need to keep Cinderace around. So I'll just sack Coco. Maybe maybe it lives Flare Blitz? I don't know. Or uh, I know it lives High Jump Kick. But even if it, even the HAK is just going to unless he misses High Jump Kick, that'd be that'd be great if he does that. Nope, raw Flare Blitz. Yeah, I kind of expected that because it covered everything. And I died. Oh, great. And I get crit. I, I don't know if that crit mattered. I I honestly doubt it. Cause I don't think I'm running any bulk on this. But at least the Blaziken's dead. <laughs> um, so yeah. I needed, I needed Coco more. I needed, I needed Incinerate more than anything. The only downside now is he gets to get rid of my like terrain. So my Raichu is essentially useless. I mean, the only thing Raichu outsped was the Thunderous, and I, or, 
It also comes down to whether or not this, this Bulu is Scarf or not, but I don't know. I'm just going into Cinderace now. Tapu Bulu. Grassy Terrain. Hmm. Now, I don't really have any other play here, so I'm just going to Powerball. If he's Scarf... If he's Scarf, I lose Cinderace, and I pretty much auto-lose to Ferrothorn. If he's not, he goes into Slowbro. That's pretty much what it comes down to. I, I like At this point in the game, I'm kind of like, my way of dealing with Ferrothorn is this. That's literally all I have right now. Oh, boy. Okay, he's not, he's not Scarf. Tommy Chung. All right, I get the slow, bro. Let's see this Pyro Ball. Blaze boosted. Does Jack? Actually, I, I kind of did. No, that's about right. Yeah, thirty-five percent. It's about. That's about right. Um. Hmm. I'm just gonna and this time around, I'm just gonna hard switch into Raichu for two reasons. One, I don't want to risk him being helmet. If he's helmet, I die. Um, and Raichu at this point is kind of useless. <laughs> if he teleports, he teleports. But right now, Raichu is literally not doing anything for me right now. Trick room. Okay. Okay, maybe it's not all that bad. I don't, I don't, I don't honestly know. But regardless, I, I'm I, I'm just going to force this thing out. I'm just going to T-Bolt. I don't see a reason not to. If he goes Thunderous, he goes Thunderous because... If he goes Thunderous, it actually helps me. Blue Dreamed. Okay, yeah, that's, that actually helps me. <laughs> the Trick Room actually helped me because I'm slower. <laughs> He doesn't know that he's faster than me. Alright, so now I'm just gonna click, click, click ah, words. Uh, psychic. Like, Raichu is literally useless without the terrain. Yeah, I, yeah, he, he didn't know I'm faster than... <laughs> Clean to a KO. Dark Pulse, okay. Yeah, I mean, this isn't doing anything anyway. Even if even if I take it out with Raichu, I'm just going to lose. It doesn't be Ferrothorn, so it doesn't matter. Psychic again. Hopefully he just gives me this. Okay, he does. Good. And who said Raichu can't... <laughs> who said Raichu can't be used outside of terrain? <laughs> um... Grab the terrain's over. Trick Room is still up, so he could just go Ferrothorn, I guess, or back to Slowbro. My back, like Slowbro or Ferrothorn is the play. I'm I'm a sack. I'm essentially sacking this anyway because it's not doing anything for me right now. I think there's one turn left of Trick Room after this. The nail that the yeah Ferrothorn comes out, and I just T-bolt this. It doesn't really matter what I click. Um, yeah, of course psychic it doesn't really matter. Like he should just kill me. He should just kill me. Gyro ball. Yep. All right, right. She goes down. But it does allow me to get in my um, my Cinderace again. Yep, Trick Room did end this turn. Perfect. So Cinderace comes out. I don't really. Yeah, I have to go Cinderace. Doesn't matter. Ah, oh, this is tough. <laughs> this is really really annoying. And I have to Powerball. I don't have a choice. I really don't have a choice. Well, 
Like he's gonna go slow, bro. But I can't stop that. If he if he stays in for some crazy reason, then then U turn is not the play. I need to get rid of this for Nihilego. But at the same time, I I can't stop him from going slow, bro. I'm not I'm not gonna bother predicting either. Like there's I get nothing out of predicting. Yep. Slowbro comes back in. Yep. Powerball. Does nothing. I do get the burn. Ugh, boy. This is annoying. This is really annoying. Uh, yeah, this is this is really annoying. <laughs> I st I definitely need this, but the thing is, what's Tom even clicking psychic? Because the thing is, I U turn, and then what? Yeah, I I can't I can't let's get. I, I really can't do anything right now. I legit can't do anything right now. Because either I lose to this or I lose to Ferrothorn. But he future sighted it. Okay. I thought for sure... I legit thought he was going to trick room and beat me. Like, it literally didn't matter what I went for. But I, I U-turn now... Alright, so what I'm thinking is, I U-turn into the Halego, he goes Ferrothorn, he kills me, I go back into Cinderace and Powerwall twice. I think that's the only, I'm only out at this point. I, I'm surprised he didn't go for Trick Room. Like, why didn't he go for Trick Room, let Slowbro go down, and then win with Boo or Ferrothorn? I felt like he had a 3-0. Okay, well, Slowbro's down, but... I'm really intrigued why why he didn't trick room that turn. I wasn't expecting future sight. I I saw trick room and I thought it was offensive slow bro, but it's not. I really really thought he was going to kill me. He was going to trick room and sweep me. But like, Nihilego brings in Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn kills me when... Ferrothorn clicks Gyro Ball. I bring in Cinder... Well, actually, is this thing even leftovers? I don't even know its item. I don't know its item, but I have to for I have to lock myself in the Power Gem. Like, I can't do anything else. Like, ideally, he just goes for Gyro Ball. Yeah, that's nothing. Okay, now I guarantee lose. Oh my god, what is this? And the future tight, yeah. I live, but yeah, it doesn't matter. And he is leftovers. Uh, of all the moves on Ferrothorn, of all the moves, it had to be substitute. Yeah, I lose. I guarantee I lose now. Unless Power Gem breaks the sub, which I doubt it does. And I don't know what the Bulu is. If the Bulu is not Scarf, if he was Scarf, he would have stayed in the first time, I feel. Not very effective. I crit! Doesn't break. Okay, so yeah, I get I lose. Yep, that's game. Ah, uh, Damn! That's unfortunate. Of all the moves on Ferrothorn, the last thing I'm thinking about is Substitute. If he wasn't sub, I had a shot. If he wasn't sub, I had a shot. But now I don't. I guess even if he- even if he- I guess even if he wasn't sub, I still had to hit two Pyroballs. 
if the Bulu wasn't Scarf. So yeah, I just, I just Powerball. So yeah, no matter what I lose, it's going to be a 2-0 loss. Oh, come on. Uh, that sucks. That really, really sucks. And it's also the this is the third person I'm facing that's brought sub against me. I mean, I I guess it makes sense because Ferrothorn does kind of sub on Coco, Raichu, and all that stuff. But uh, I, I just wish I didn't see it. That's the thing. Oh well. So yeah, that's gonna be a two zero loss for us. Um, so yeah, GG. That was. I honestly don't know what I could have done differently that game. I don't know. This is this is probably the first time in any game I've played where I don't really feel like I misplayed. I guess the only thing I could have probably done was maybe try to preserve my obstacle a little bit better, but. Ah, oh, man, I, I honestly don't know, man. I don't know. I couldn't risk the Blaziken being SD. So I stayed in with Obstagoon. When he went for Protect, I probably could have swapped into Swampert. But I don't think Obstagoon would have survived Rocks plus Flame Orb for more than one turn anyway. I could have went Ferrothorn on the facade or whatever to ensure that it, like, I killed it with Residual with Iron Barb's chip. Um, uh, I don't know, man. It's, this is weird. It's, it's not weird, it's more of a, it's kind of odd. Like, this is probably the first time so far this season where I felt like I didn't really misplay. It didn't feel like I misplayed, but... Uh, it's, it's it's weird. It's a super it's, it's, it's awkward position to be in. Um, I knew the risk bringing a little right show against a team that had t uh, opposing terrain. Um, it didn't really end up mattering, but and then and then the the power the power of Soul being Blaziken, I was okay with that. I was fine. Like that was a good bring on Blaziken, but I didn't think it would be power of Solar Beam. Considering what he brought, the Bulu, the Ferrothorn, the potential Grass Knot Thunderous, potential Grass Knot Slowbro, I didn't think that the the the, the Solar Beam Blaziken was necessary. I thought SD would be enough because like plus two Life Orb close combat destroyed Swampert. If he was SD Blaziken, he literally would have six would me, straight up. I had nothing. For Blaziken. Absolutely nothing for Blaziken. And I didn't think that power of Solar Beam would be necessary because Swampert it's bulky, but it's not bulky to the point of of living plus two life orb adamant close combat from Blaziken. But I guess in this situation he didn't really have opportunities to SD up. Which is what I was basically doing when I had when he brought it in for his obscure. I didn't know if he had SD. If he SD'd as I switched out into Swampert. I was screwed, so that's why I stayed in. When I saw Protect, I figured he wasn't SD. I didn't think he'd be Power Herb, Solar Beam, but he was. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I honestly don't know what else to say. Like, it's, it's, it's weird. I, it's, it's weird. It, it's not really weird. Like, the team he brought, I expected it to be, like, a bulky, bulky offensive-ish sort of team, but I didn't really, like, have real countermeasures, and then the the caveat on top was the sub Ferrothorn, which, like I said, it made sense. Like Coco didn't probably didn't break its sub. Raichu, um, well, Raichu would have broke its sub with terrain up, but not without terrain. Um, and it said it's subbed on on Nihilego too, so it pretty much got a sub on half my team. Um. I didn't expect it, so props for that. I'm not going to fault my opponent for that. He played really, really well. Um, there was no real hacks. Like, the crits that ha- Like, the, the crit on the Hippowdon, um, kind of- It didn't really set him back. Like, Hip- Like, Hippo got up rocks and died. Like, like, Hippo really wasn't mandatory. As long as he kept Thunderous from my Electro-type, he was fine. Like, didn't really matter. Um... 
I didn't really really have anything to break his team, if anything. Like, my main way of breaking his team was Cinderace, but I felt like I was too... What's the word? I felt like I was aggressive early, but I didn't really have anything when my opponent became aggressive. So, yeah, that's kind of the takeaway from this, if anything, I can... If there's any one takeaway, probably would be that. But, um, yeah, outside of that, though, I, I can't really say anything else. So, yeah, this was a rough stretch for us. This is now my fourth straight loss, which is not expected, not exactly where I expected myself to be halfway through the season, one and four. Especially how I started. I didn't think after week one that, uh, nah, free. <laughs> I'm not touching my switch at the moment. Um,. Yeah, I think I've said all I need to say in this situation. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm 1-4 in four now. Um, I essentially have to win out to essentially get above 500. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Hope I gotta keep going. I gotta keep trying. Um, it's a rough stretch, but we all go, th um, we all go through stuff like this. Um, we'll see what happens in the last four weeks of the season, but regardless... Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. Check out my opponent. His link will be in the description down below, as well as all the other coaches taking part in pack. And, uh, yeah. Um, that's enough of me rambling for one day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next time, this is Tone, signing out for now. Peace out.